do maps in a loop, see which map is faster. So I'm gonna do white map, then I'll do white map traction, green map, green map traction. And let's see how it goes, all right? So I'll do the timing in the video. But anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, go. First time, first one done. I'll check back in. Control. Especially white map in, in uh, with traction on it. 
Alright. Max control. Hopefully you can see that. goes so here are the final results and it's not really surprising to me white map it does feel a little sluggish in comparison to the green map if you switch them back and forth it's almost like putting in a spark arrestor in your exhaust or just kind of um plugging up the exhaust a little bit is what i would say it just is not very responsive in comparison to the green map so throttle response with the green map is is instantaneous. It's great. It's just, it's a bit much sometimes. So as you can see, um, it got faster with track control on because you do get this thrust sensation. That's the best way I can describe it. Anytime I use track control, yeah, you miss that little edge of the snap from, you know, throttle response, but as you roll into the power, you get this weird sensation of just being thrusted forward. And as the times show, green map with traction control was the fastest. And when I was doing this test, I probably would have guessed that green map alone would have been faster, but I was wrong. You can try, you can say that um, these times just dropped from me doing this over and over again, but I've ridden this trail so many times nothing was surprising to me and i'm always about i don't know 70 80 percent when i'm riding through these trails obviously i always leave a little bit of reserve in case something happens never go all out for uh just doing some of these tests but anyway let me know what you think i thought it was pretty interesting uh when i race this bike i'm not sure if i'm gonna do green with traction control or not um may try my first race in white and switch as I'm racing just because I feel like green map, the bike's an animal and I feel like it's going to wear me out. But that's what the summer's for. I'll do some conditioning and hopefully get comfortable with this bike. But so far, I'm loving it. Uh, I still love my two strokes, not going anywhere for you two stroke fans. I just thoroughly enjoy riding two strokes. But for racing, it looks like um, the 350 is going to get built up and see how it goes next season. Anyway, thanks guys.